31 days of Dunktober. Day 31. Mm. Mm. So, this is it. We all knew this day would come. It was inevitable, expected, preordained, destined. It was on the cards. It was as certain as the sunrise. It was odds on, a firm bet, a likely event. Nothing could stop it. Yes, it's the final day of Dunktober. Tomorrow will be the first day of no Dunkvember. Is this the end of Mr. Duncan? Am I about to disappear forever? Do cats really fall on all fours? Find out the answer to these questions and much more on today's last ever Dunktober Day. I have a good idea. Let's have a word of the day. Yes, I thought it would be fun to have a word of the day. This is not only a word for you to learn, but also to use. Try to use it today as often as you can. Today's word is decline. The word decline has more than one meaning. It can mean a slow fall or drop in something. If the number of people doing something has dropped, then we can say that there has been a decline. The word decline also means to refuse something, to say no to an offer from someone. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to decline your offer. I'm afraid he declined my offer. Decline can also mean to refuse to do something. The president declined to comment on the war. See how many times you can use decline today. If you enjoy learning new words, don't forget you can catch my Word Stop video lessons by going to the playlist for them. There will be a new Word Stop every week from November 1st. The link for my Word Stop playlist is under this video in the description box. So, now that Dunktober is ending, what will happen next? First of all, it is worth mentioning that I'm not quitting or going off to do something new. I'm not going anywhere. My lessons will continue. There will be more Word Stop episodes and many more general lessons too. Right now, I'm working on what will eventually be Lesson 80. Of course, my lessons will not be daily, but they will be more regular than before Dunktober. As I mentioned yesterday, for me this year has been one of change, and those changes are not about to stop. So I look forward to seeing you for regular lessons and some new features too, including a chance to show off your English skills to the world with your thoughts and experiences of learning English here with me. Is English a perfect language? This is a question I'm often asked. Why is English so popular? I suppose you could ask that question about many things. From my own viewpoint, I think English acts as a middle ground. It has become a common form of language. It is by nature a language created from the very best of many other languages. It is a means to share and most importantly, it is a way of joining people together. English is a common language that is, like us, always evolving. To answer the question, no, English is not a perfect language. It has its flaws and idiosyncrasies. But from my standpoint at least, it serves as a means to an end. People sharing their thoughts and experiences. And the result of this? Perhaps a little more understanding, a bit more tolerance. And hey, who knows, perhaps even a little peace. That would be just dandy. I have been overwhelmed by your comments and messages during this month. I would like to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to write to me. 
I will be including a comment section in all future editions of Ask Mr Duncan. Talking of which, there will be a new Ask Mr Duncan coming very soon, complete with your comments and emails. So, for the last time, in Dunktober, here are some more of your comments. Well, what can I say? This month has been quite an adventure. 31 days of English lessons and hopefully a few smiles as well. I wish you luck with your studies wherever you are in the world. Stay happy and enjoy English. This is Mr Duncan in England on the very last day of Dunktober. 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 Good morning, Mr. Duncan. <gasps> Mr Lomax, what are you doing in my bedroom? Nobody's allowed in my bedroom except me. Come on, Mr Duncan. It's time to get up. It's day one of Dunktober. What are you talking about? Dunktober is finished. I'm doing the last one today. Oh, Mr Duncan, I think you've been dreaming again. What? Are you saying that the 31 days of Dunktober were all just a dream? Yes, Mr Duncan, that is what I'm saying. You have been dreaming. Really? Is that what we're doing? We're really doing the dream plot? Oh dear. OK, I'll play along. Oh. What? It was all a dream and it didn't really happen? Oh my goodness, that means I have to film Dunktober all over again. Yes, Mr Duncan, it was all a dream. All a dream. All a dream. No, seriously, that was Dunktober. And this is the final day. I hope you have enjoyed the lessons and I hope overall Dunktober has been a pleasant experience. I will say goodbye for now. This is Mr Duncan in bed in England saying thank you for watching the whole of Dunktober and I will see you again soon. I'm going back to sleep now. Ah, good night. Mm. Oh, and 
Ta ta for now. <laughs>